Here we are testing one of the prototypes. We have one of the prototype pads. We're going to do a stress test. Have my assistant Dave here <laughs> helping me out. We have the John Deere holding it up one end. This tree will hopefully be able to hold up the other. Our tractor is not holding it very well, but this is 610 pounds and it's still completely flat. Here, let's, uh... We're out of salt, so now I guess we're, I'm going to sit on it first. Alright, I'm on it. 600 pounds plus 155 plus 180. 180. Holy smokes. Are your feet up? Feet are up. Ah! 610 plus 155 plus 180. That's 945. 945. And my boots are probably an extra three pounds. <laughs> so nice that's incredible. True. Just on the sides, look, it doesn't even really hold much tension on the sides at all. Uh, man, even the air mattress is still full of air, which was kind of a shocker to me. So we decided to try to break a thousand pounds. So we have some extra weight here. Now I'm going to sit in it, adding another 155 pounds. More than a thousand pounds of weight. As we pulled back, what happened was the loops on the rain fly ripped through. The first thing to break again as we were backing up were these loops on the other side. So the weak point ended up being, if you can call it a weak point, holy smokes, ended up being the stitching right in here on this loop. Wow. How hard was it pulling? Did you feel it? Was it I straining was at all? spinning out the tires. You're spinning the tires? Yeah. Holy smokes. So we had it suspended at probably a 20 degree down, right? So it was pretty straight mm -hmm. and had 1,070 pounds in the Haven tent. And then as we started to back up, that's when it went from that 20 degree down to, you know, closer to zero. And anyway, that's finally what, what made it go. Let's see if the air mattress survived. Oh my gosh, the air mattress still has air in it. It just had like 730 pounds fall on it from three feet in the air. It's insane. <laughs>